Welcome to the Garage on King in the historic downtown Martinsburg, where our unique culinary experience has taken shape in a most unexpected place, a former garage. In the late 1880s, the Garage on King was used as a residential place. Many homes were built on the property. In the 1930s, a repair garage took the area and many of the homes became warehouses. In 1991, the shop turned into an appliance store. That's what most of today's Martinsburg residents may remember the building as. In 2022, Proxima Investments bought the building and created the garage on King. I sat down with Diego Lasada, the owner and visionary behind the transformation. I'm Diego Lasada. I am the owner of the garage on King Food Hall. Uh, I have other investments that I have in Martinsburg, uh, downtown Martinsburg. And our mission in my company is to uh, revitalize downtown Martinsburg. And so we've been working here for about three years, different kinds of projects, residential buildings, commercial spaces, office buildings. And now we've taken into kind of an interest in developing the restaurant scene downtown Martinsburg. And that's what we're doing here with the garage. The food hall serves those who want a bite to eat, but also provide a place of business for many restaurants around the area, such as the Green Pineapple, New School Cafe, Bayou Nola, Wild Bill's Barbecue, and many more. The garage also has its own bar for patrons who are wanting to have a drink with their food. There was a need in Martinsburg for additional restaurant spaces. And there was this concept of food halls that was growing across the nation and bigger cities nations were kind of developing a new trend in what people were looking for in variety of food. The newer trend is people are looking for different foods from different vendors in a single place, right? Like you can customize anything, you can get anything you want in a single place. During the development stages of the food hall, Diego recognized the importance of local insight. Not being from the panhandle, he wanted to know how the community would react to such a new idea of restaurant. So I had some residential units, I had commercial units, and then I bought an office building. And in talking to the, my tenants and to prospective people that wanted to move downtown, one of the number one things they said they would like to see was more restaurants. We had Briggs, we had Habanero, we had the Sweet Hut, we had the Thai restaurant, but we didn't really have anything more than that. And when I was kind of trying to understand downtown Marksburg, one thing that, that I feared very much was that our old buildings were going to be bought and used as storage spaces, where that, those generate zero economic activity, right? Nobody uses them. Five people come in here a month up to their storage units. So I bought the building without a purpose, but to make sure that we were converted into something that would be useful and, 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 and valuable to the community, where people could come again. That was the idea. Remembering the importance of the history in Martinsburg is what Diego continues to work on with the garage and his future investments. With TV10, I'm Cade Miller.